Hello friends, welcome to Internetworks. My name is Ed Kasi Francis. In this video, we will see what is SVTI Virtual Tunnel Interface and how to configure IPsec Static Virtual Tunnel. The Virtual Tunnel is also called a native IPsec. Uh, VTI, which is Virtual Tunnel, does the same job that GRE with IPsec does. They both encrypt the tunnel with IPsec. VTI removed the additional 4 bytes GRE header, thus uh, this reduced the bandwidth for sending encrypted data. Virtual tunnel allow to configure um, uh, ACL, NAT and quality of service. Remember that the default mode for a tunnel is GRE. You have to define mode the IPsec IPv4 to configure the static virtual tunnel interface. Well, there's two type of S, uh, VTI, virtual tunnel interface, static, v static VTI and dynamic VTI. In this video, we will see how to configure static virtual tunnel interface. If you want to know more in detail about this uh, virtual tunnel, IPsec and DMVP and MPLS, there's a link in the description box so you can visit it out. I have wrote everything about these uh, virtual interfaces and security. So let's get started and let's see how to configure IPsec static virtual tunnel. So this is my favorite part, uh, the configurations. So our task is to make sure that the, whatever the traffic coming from this uh, LAN interface and going to site B to this LAN interface 30.1.1.1 will go through with the tunnel which is we are going to configure the um, static virtual tunnel interface and the IP address uh, over here you will see this is the IP address 192.168.1.123 and uh, to configure this first we have to configure the default route on router 1 router 3 and static route on router 2 actually router 2 is acting as an ISP router so okay then we are going to configure EIGRP and advertise only the tunnel interface and the LAN interface not the serial interfaces after that we are going to configure IPsec and give some security and we will verify the so first we have to configure the default route I already configured the IP addressing you can see to show IP interface in brief you will see router 1 having two interfaces uh, serial and fast internet both are up let's configure the default route IP route 0.0.0 0.0.0 the next stop is 1.1.1.2 same way on router 3 okay we show IP interface uh, brief okay now IP route 0.0.0 0.0.0 the next stop is uh, 3.3.3.2 now the static route on ISP router will show IP interface uh, brief both the serial interfaces is up now so IP route uh, in order to reach the 10 dot network 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0. we'll go through 1.1.1.1 um, so IP route in order to reach the 30 dot network two five five dot zero dot zero. The next stop is three dot three dot three dot one. Okay. Now let's check the connectivity between these two route to these two sites. Okay. Do ping. 30.1.1.1 okay success rate is 100 percent let's try to trace the route trace 30.1.1.1 okay now we are going to configure the tunnel okay starting from router one the tunnel interface is one two three four so interface uh tunnel one two three four ip address IP address is 192.168.123.1 192.168.123.1 
58123.1 okay now the ip mtu size ip mtu which is uh, 1400 1400 let's uh, ip tcp adjust which is 1360 1360 and tunnel source is the tunnel source is uh, 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1 .1. and tunnel destination is uh, tunnel destination is 13 3.3.3.1 this is the tunnel destination let's check the tunnel is up or not to show ip interface uh, brief you will see over here the tunnel interface is up the same way we are going to configure on router 3 also okay so interface uh, tunnel 1234 the ip address ip address for this tunnel is 192.168.123.2 and uh, the MTU size 14 1400 and let's IP TCP adjust adjust this uh, 1360 so 1360 now the tunnel source tunnel source is one dot um, 3.3.3.1 3 .3 and tunnel destination is uh, 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. Okay, let's check. Do show IP interface uh, brief. Okay, the tunnel is up. Okay. Now let's try to ping. Okay. No. To ping. 30.1.1.1. Now trace the route. Do trace. Okay, 30.1.1.1. You can see that it's using the serial interfaces. Now. We have to configure EIGRP and advertise only this LAN interfaces and the tunnel interface. Okay, so router EIGRP you can configure any routing, the dynamic routing. Okay, so one two three four. The network. The network is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one two three dot zero. And the LAN network is ten dot so ten dot zero dot zero dot zero. No water supply. Exit. Same command we are going to configure on router 3. We are not going to configure any uh, diff uh, dynamic routing on the ISP side. We are just configuring the dynamic routing on router 1 and router 3. So router EIGRP 1234 network. Um, the network is 192.168.123.0 and the network 30.0.0.0 no auto summary exit you can see the neighborship is up over here let's check the route to show ip eigr to show ip route eigrp you will see over here it's learn via the tunnel 1234 now let's try to trace the route do trace 30.1.1.1 can see it's going via the tunnel interface before configuring this it is going via the seed interfaces okay over here and uh, do show interface tunnel 1234 there you will see this uh, encapsulation mode tunnel and there you will not find the tunnel protection because this tunnel is not protected with ipsec this tunnel is uh, using the gre this is not a static virtual tunnel by default the the tunnel mode is gre we have to um, define the tunnel mode over here okay now we are going to configure the IPsec and apply this on this tunnel and we will also define the tunnel mode which uh, which is the SVTI. So let's configure the IPsec. Okay. 
crypto crypto set the policy number is one two three four authentication is uh, this share this share and uh, hash value is uh, SHA group we are using five encryption AES and exit the same command we are going to configure on router three also so router three get to um, and uh, policy one two three four authentication reshare and hash sha group five and encryption we are using AES. that's it okay now we have to configure the key starting from um, router one okay crypto exact map e zero the name we are using internet address address is uh, e dot three dot three dot one okay the same way same key we are going to configure on the router two uh, sorry router three crypto back e zero name is internet and address address is one dot one dot one dot uh one okay now on uh, router one we have to uh, configure the transform set so crypto um ipsec transform set the name you can use any name i'm using the trans set and the esp aes and esp sha okay so here we have to configure the mode mode uh, we are using you can use uh, the transport mode or tunnel mode we are using the tunnel mode let's say here you will see the transport mode and the tunnel mode we are using the tunnel mode okay the same command we are going to apply on the router 3 so system ipsec transform set the name dot set and yes esp sha okay. the mode tunnel exit now we have to configure the ipsec profile okay so crypto ipsec um, profile profile name you can choose any name i'm using the um, svti svti okay set uh, transform set what is the name we have configured over here is uh, transit okay here the transit so trans set okay now just exit the same way on router 3 also okay crypto ipsec profile name svti okay the set transform set the name trans sorry capital trans set now exit 
Now we are going to apply this IPsec on the tunnel. Simple. Just go to the router one and uh, interface uh, tunnel. Tunnel. The one, two, three, four. And here we are going to apply the protection. Tunnel uh, protection. The protection is we have to IPsec and uh, what is the profile name? So profile profile name is over here SVTI. Okay. So we have to type the name here SVTI. Okay. Another command is we have to configure the mode which is very important because what the default mode is GRE and we have to configure uh, SVTI. So tunnel mode IPsec IPv4 exit same command we have to configure on router 3 so interface uh, tunnel tunnel name is 1234 okay and tunnel we can see protection here protection and ipsec and profile the profile name is SVTI, SVTI. Okay, now we have to configure the tunnel mode. So, tunnel mode, tunnel mode is uh, IPsec, IPv4. So, IP6, IPv4. Okay, that's it. Now we have successfully configured the tunnel with the security IPsec let's check you will see the neighborship is up okay. okay now do show interface tunnel one two three four then now you will see the tunnel protocol IPsec IP over here and here you will see the tunnel protection via IPsec and the profile name is over here. Now let's uh, send some packet from the PC and let's verify the packet is encrypted or not. So let's send some packet from the PC. Okay, let me clear this. It's a PC over here. This is PC1 and Let's ping. <laughs> you will see it's replying again. PC2 is replying to PC1 the same way on router. Uh, sorry, PC2. So ping 10.1.1.10. You see it's replying so we have sent some packet one two three four five let's check router one here we have to do show crypto ipsec let's see there you will see that uh, the encapsulation packet is 47 and all the information and also the over here now you will find the status is active so this is how you can configure the SVTI with IPsec I hope you like this video if you like please give a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching